Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I apologize. That was... Let me start over. Chilled Gasket. What's the space on the southwest side? When Nagel's on the southeast side, Nagel has sent out some Shin Beer to scout out where What's the Space is. What's the Space, on the other hand, is building up fairly standard 4RP, one importer build, and not really scouting out too much with Marine or Sop. He is just hanging out, just double-checking from his point of view. He is building up his base. He seems to be actually changing up his build slightly, as opposed to having the importer. I apologize, I had muted my mic accidentally to make sure that the intro didn't get disturbed and I forgot to unmute it. Ay. Anyway. I've literally lost sleep over the tournament thing. So I was saying, yes, the tournament, this is being done in place of the Temporal Anomaly Season 2 matches, because those matches had to be, well, no one played this week, so I had to do this instead. So at least there is something to watch. I'm not going to be completely getting out, we're just going to have something to watch. So, as a result, I am a little bit stressed about this, and I apologize for any mistakes I make. Anyway, Zion Pulse are coming in from Nagel at the 244 mark. Quite early Zion Pulse are coming in, and what's his face? Going back to the 224 mark to try to deal with this. He is sending all of his forces right to where the Zion Pulse will be skipping into, and is going to start attacking it directly, trying to keep it from attacking the RPs, but the... Zion Pulsar actually is going down very rapidly, and will be going down before it becomes a big deal. What's the space going down once again to the 217 mark? Looks like he's trying to just double check his setup. Nagel, on the other hand, at the 241 mark, has completely changed around his tactic. He is going towards the QP RPs, which is much better RPs to go for. Anyway, QP is much more valuable than LC in a lot of cases, although right now, What's the space could get away with not having LC... Sorry, not having QP, not, more than not having LC. Of course, you do want both, and now... What's the face is going to have to deal with this as well? Nagel realizes what's going on and will have to realize that What's the face is countering it as well. So What's the face knows the Zion Pulsar is now, and Nagel will have to go back and change his tactic once again. And it looks like Nagel is going back to the 227 mark, and no, jumping back to the 240 mark. Looks like he's just reviewing his last attack. He is not developing anything in his base. He is, however, scouting out the middle expansion season 2. Going back for LC and is going to be attacked by a marine that's set up for defense for the 253 mark, so he's getting a bit later and later each time. While What's His Face does see that no attack has gone on yet, of course he does realize on his timeline that there is an attack coming, so he's going to have to prepare for that. However, another factory coming in and mechs and lancers being built. The lancers will be incredibly helpful against the Zion Pulsers, because of course Zion Pulsers can't hit air, but also just because they can move around a lot faster, the Zion Pulsar will have a harder time just harassing. That being said, the Lancer is coming in rather late, and Nagel's attack at, hit, at this iteration is able to get off without a hitch. At the 326 mark, he is dealing considerable damage to these RPs. However, he's only attacking these RPs. He will destroy them, unless, of course, Wesley will probably be countering this fairly soon. But as far as you can tell, he will be destroying them, and he is starting to develop his own base as well, getting five LC RPs and one QP RP. Not actually building anything for tech or anything else, oddly enough. And once again, here we have Zion Pulsar coming in, and Nagel is double checking what's going on. Mechs are coming in to help defend as well, and the Zion Pulsar is just now skipping around the base, avoiding resources entirely, and instead of going for the importers, which is the best target he could go for. Losing LC and QP is a problem, but losing importers means you can't build anything but mechs. Though at this point, he's only losing one importer, which is still going to be a problem. However, it's not going to be the biggest problem, and a mech is coming in to help defend. What's the face has started to try to counter this, sending in marines as well, and Zion Pulsar is actually taking a ton of damage and will be teleporting away. What's the face has successfully defended against his attack. Nagel has retreated with his Zion Pulsar and will likely be healing it up with his foundation that's coming up right now. Bit surprised he's not throwing it into the depot. The depot isn't being used right now, and Nagel doesn't have a lot, of, a whole lot of resources at the moment. Jumping back to the 310 mark, he's double checking his retreat, and yes, his retreat is working just fine. So he has done his opening rush, and what's his face is now having to rebuild a little bit. Not a big deal, and Nagel is definitely retreating. He is at the unplayable pass now, and he is not changing up his tactic. And from what's his face face's point of view, he has not only successfully defended against that as a retreat, but also if that attack went on, his Lancer would have completely wiped it out. So Nagel is in a very good spot right... Sorry. What's his face in a very good spot right now? Nagel's not in a bad spot either, but Nagel has... It's been some... He's harassed, but he's only done psychological damage. He hasn't actually done any real physical... No, wait! 
No, the Zion Pulser is actually coming back. This may not be the best idea. It looks like the Zion Pulser is going to be completely destroyed by... Yes, it is getting destroyed by those Special Ops and the Lancer. This is not the best idea. He is doing a bit of harassment. Once the space does have enough resources, he can weather this. The Zion Pulse are being sent back again, so at the very least, What's the Space will have to try to deal with this. That being said, What's the Space is going to be attacking very quickly with this Lancer. At the 509 mark, he is attacking all the RPs directly, and there's no really good anti air available. The Zion Pulse, of course, is not an anti air unit, and this Zion Beer, while able to attack air, is not particularly strong against it. So this Lancer is going to be able to do much more harassment than Nagel ever could. Nagel, on the other hand, he is getting some Test Pulsers, which will be very helpful, and is not really attacking with that Zion Pulsar very much. This harassment he did early on did not have a particular effect. It didn't have any particular effect on his RPs. It did damage them, but it didn't it didn't ultimately do any real damage. So now what's the face is around the six or seven mark getting ground units and will be getting Well, we will be getting more advanced Marines and mechs from that. Nagel is going to be Teleporting, wow, he's teleporting back in that Zion Pulsar, once again teleporting in, and it will be... Yeah, there it goes, there it is. Once again attacking the RPs in the back, What's the Space, however, has plenty of resources, able to get tech no problem, and still have a ton of resources in the bank, so harassing the RPs is not a good idea at this point in time. The importers are the only real juicy target right now, there is no other target that actually is going to be a problem. Right now, what's his face is in such a great spot when it comes to his resources. He doesn't need to worry so much about income right now. So this Zion Pulsar is not a threat to him. If attacking the importers, it would be, but attacking the RPs is not doing any good. That being said, Nagel does have the Shin Viewers set up pretty well. If you wanted to start, and Test Viewers as well, if you wanted to start expanding, building comp hubs around the map, whatever, getting map control, that would be a good time now to do so, but he's not really focusing on it. Both players are getting a lot of resources, and I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, what's his face? And Nagel looks like they're both going for gate tech, but I think at this point Nagel's the only one seriously trying to get gate tech. If he is going for that at all. He is getting more foundations, and I think that he may simply have been saving up money without realizing it. So now he's actually spending it and sending in Test Pulsers and Zion Pulsers to deal with what's in what's his base's base. And Test Pulsers is getting rid of one of these Lancers, no problem, and the second Lancer is going to be attacking as well. But what's his face is in the present and Come center is going to be going down very quickly, but these Zion Pulses really should be sent forward to attack the importers. What's his face back in the present is macroing up a storm. He's got, well, not really yet, but he's starting to macro up a storm. He's got three armies, he's got two macro fabs, he has machinery and ground units. He's not getting heavy tank with the ground units, but he is getting, well, obviously, he's getting the more, well, more weapons on the mech, stronger marines. He's going to have an easier time defending, but unfortunately for him, he has to defend now, which is before he actually gets all the units he has in the present. Now being, of course, 7.35 and the 8 o'clock, or 8 minute mark, which is right here, when the attack starts. So, Nagel is going to have some some initiative advantage, but he is retreating slightly. He doesn't have a lot of units in his base. He has his foundation at the south, and he is going to be setting up a base there as well. So he's actually getting expansion in the first expansion of the game. First series expansion, anyway. What's the space has some RPs in his natural in the back door, but nothing in terms of production facilities. And it looks like a Shin Hakin coming up. No, Shin Turcher and Shin Hakin coming up for Nagel. So he is starting to build up some air units, getting some units up, but has a lot of resources in the bank. He appears to be quite worried about being undermined. Kronos coming in, getting rid of the Test Pulsers, and this will not work out very well for Nagel. And they only start building up Test Turchers, and he is indeed Test Turcher coming in right now, and will be available at the 10 minute mark. Not sending out an attack yet, though, and what's the space back at the 8-12 mark is able to defend against the attack that came in very effectively using what he had, getting the use he needed, and not taking any serious damage from that attack. Nagel losing his entire force from that. He's going to need to go back and retreat that. He is not going to be able to survive this attack. And, of course, the attack coming in right now is simply a continuation. So once the time wave, once the blue time wave comes along carrying that what's his faces attack was perfectly successful, Nagel's going to have a very hard time dealing with what's going on. Because what's his face will simply be able to attack unimposed. Nagel, however, does have his Shin Turcher and Tet Turcher and Shin Halkin coming in to defend his south base. And what's his face is going to be attacking right now. The air units are hidden defend and they are attacking. So the mechs are going to be able to take care of the Shin Turcher, no problem. Shin Halkin, however, is in a much better position to attack. However, the Tet Turcher and Shin Turcher are destroyed. The units inside unable to eject, and that is going to be pretty bad for What's-His-Face. What's-His-Face appears to be retreating, however. 
it's a bit of a mistake, but he does need to just press the advantage, because he does have a great advantage right now, while Nagel, on the other hand, is in a very tough spot. He does think he is doing quite well, but this attack that came in earlier with the blue time was carrying, that's what really happened, and that's going to be a bit of a problem. However, what's his face, like I said, did retreat, which is really strange. He should not have retreated, because actually, you know what? Now, Nagel has the advantage. What's his face? was in a great position. He will still have a good defense, but Nagel was able to get rid of two Tornadoes for free. So that was kind of a waste of... I don't know why was his face did not press it. He had that battle. He could have just pushed in and actually won from this point. So Nagel has undone this expansion, and that won't be... That really won't be a concern for him, but he is going to have to worry about the fact that he now has an advantage, and he might not have expected it. He needs to start building more units, and... What the... Okay, it looks like he's going to be pausing the game at the moment. So, we probably won't notice, because the replay usually doesn't hold this sort of thing in. But, anyways, I was saying, Nagel really needs to worry about getting his... Well, getting his units built up. He has tons of resources in the bank. He has tons of... Well, he's hardly any units, but tons of resources in the bank. He can start building... Getting another Shin Halkian. Good idea, but... Again, Ted Thurgers. Okay, Ted Thurgers is a much better idea, but even then, there are a lot of anti-air units. The mechs are really good anti-air, and what's his face is just building up marines and mechs. It's going to be very difficult for Nagel to come in. Zion Pulsars to support this would be a good idea, but he doesn't have that. And now what's his face is actually going back to the 1035 mark and getting even more with what he has. Getting a macro fab. Unfortunately, placing it in a bad spot. No, he's not going to be able to actually make that macro fab work. But he is getting more factories in his natural, and is going to be getting even more units by the time a real attack comes in. Oh, Nagel has actually gone in and started to produce... Actually, there we go. There's all the units he was producing, the Shin Haokians and Ted Turgers, Shin Turgers. And it looks like this, once again, was aborted. So, Nagel is really trying to psych what's his face out more than actually dealing any real damage, and that's... Th that's not really working in his favor. I don't know why he isn't dealing real damage. Admittedly, he may want to retreat to avoid all the forces that are right here in what's his face's base. At this point, however, Nagel does have a decently large army. He could probably defend well enough. And if he just expands out with what he has, get, some, get a Zion Veer, start building RPs around the map, from there he should be able to actually completely finish this up. Just expand around the map, get a ton of resources, get even more units. And what's his face does not have a whole lot of map control. He has a fairly large army, but he hasn't pushed out with them yet. What's his face at the 1142 mark is still in his base, still building up units, not building up any more RPs. So neither player has really decided to expand. Both of them are stagnating with their economies, and this is a very bad thing to do. I'm quite surprised that they aren't expanding more, and I think that they're going to be... Well, at this point, I think what's his face does have the advantage. Nagel does have a fairly large and scary army, but what's his face does have better counters. He has a lot of mechs and the tanks themselves are strong enough to hold out, so what's his face will be able to counter the air armies and then just deal all the damage he needs to and win from there. So what's his face is going out to press the attack, or at least walk out of his base. He really should just be attacking right now. And here Zion Pulsar is in south base for Nagel. Nagel is trying to harass, but what's his face just should attack. I mean, don't worry about the harassment. One Zion Pulsar is not too much. You have the resources, you have enough resources in reserve, you will be fine. Don't worry about it, just go for an attack. Just go for it. Seriously, go for it. We have an army here, but back now... Do not retreat. Okay, so what's his base is now retreating, and... Or at least trying to defend his base, keeping units at the front, but not actually dealing any real damage. He could, at this point, win outright, and he is not going for it. Dancing around his base, not worrying too much about the fact that he does have an advantage. And not actually worrying about the Zion Pulsar either. Surprisingly enough, he hasn't gone down to attack it. He is instead going down, this is the old order he had, I believe, to attack the south base, the middle expansion. Sending another tank in to help out, and this tank here is actually, looks like he's going down to attack the Zion Pulsar. But really, there isn't a whole lot of meaningful damage being done. Neither player is doing anything particularly meaningful, and Nagel is in fact getting weapons while what's the gets gate tech. So at least what's the is getting some technology, but the problem is he's not taking advantage of what he has right now. He is pushing forward slowly, however, to get into Nagel's base, and I think that by the time we get to about the 15 minute mark at this rate, he will be attacking directly. 
but he has been very hesitant this entire game, and I don't see that ending anytime soon. Chilled Gasket is a difficult map to assault on the ramps are fairly small. It's generally a good idea to actually assault from multiple directions. And it doesn't matter though, Wet's face is in fact going for his assault. Shin Hao against the is coming in. Shin Hao against Argonne going out a lot slower than Tetris. Tetris is both going down, so the turnovers are in a great spot. Shin Tetris are going down a bit more slowly, and Shin Hao against as well, but really too many forces from Wet's face for Nagel to deal with. And Wet's face does have gate tech, so he could even just chrono port back all these units to reinforce his attack and make it even stronger, but it looks like he's just going for the straight attack. Nothing really fancy. It would be kind of cute if he built some chrono boards. He has a ton of mechs here. If he built some chrono boards inside the base and started chrono boarding back to these units after the battle is done, using them to reinforce the battle and make it even quicker, that'd be really awesome, but I don't think he's going to do that. Nagel, on the other hand, is not in a great spot for defense. He doesn't have, like I said, any real expansions. He has nothing around the map to deal with this, and all he has is what we see right now in his base, which we saw already was destroyed quite handily. There's a 15 minute mark, and he's jumping back to the 1450 mark. Trying to, looks like he's trying to get a better position up, but not really working out, unfortunately, for him. And there's far too many mechs, and the mechs are really what's pushing what's his face into Nagel's base. The Tornadoes help out a little bit, the tanks help out a little bit, but really the mechs are what are dealing the real damage. And it, skip torpedo. That would work. Yes, a skip torpedo would be a very good idea because that just got rid of What's His Face's entire army. So now both players are kind of even. What's His Face still has a much healthier economy and much better production, and of course has gate tech, but still quite effective at getting rid of What's His Face's forces. So What's His Face is going to have to. I don't think he's going to be able to deal with that, honestly. I think that actually happened in his playable pass. So. Yeah, I believe it was this attack right here. Though it would be really funny if he did still build the Chrono for an Echo Back unit, but it's a little bit too late now. So the Blue Time Wave coming in, and we'll see when the Blue Time Wave comes that all of these units here did not exist. The base is in perfect shape, or almost perfect shape. One of the foundations is gone. Once the base, however, has had a chance to rebuild a little bit, get more mechs. Not much more, though. And really, what's the space? Now would be a good time to build a Chrono Porter. More because you have gate tech and you really just, you can. You can do it, you don't have a lot of units, you have enough units that Chrono Porting Back would still be able to get you enough of an advantage that you'd win. But you need to build the Chrono Porter first, because if you don't have the Chrono Porter first, then you can't possibly get anything real done. So, next are coming into their desk, getting hit by auto defense, and not really doing anything meaningful. So, looks like we will see what's the space start to regroup, get his units set up, and from here, he will need to start taking advantage of what he has, the tech he has, either getting higher tech units or getting gates. Preferably both. Probably Macrofab, getting some Martanks at this point. Martanks a bit more mechs, and from there he should be able to just completely wipe out the base. Really, mechs are not super necessary at this point. The anti-air is not necessary. Anti-ground is far more necessary, and there aren't a lot of air units coming in from Nagel. Even back when he is further in the future, he doesn't have a lot of air units coming in. He has a Zion Pulsar, and that's about it, actually. He's not building up a whole lot. Like I said, what's the, what's the space is a much better economy than Nagel. What's the space actually has expanded to the northwest as well. Nagel, on the other hand, and this is at what's the space's time. He's just starting to expand, or well, move his RPs to be more precise. So Nagel's economy has completely stagnated; has no resources coming in. What's the space, on the other hand, is still getting healthy resources, and that's going to be that's going to be the game decider. I'm sure what's the space is going to win, but Nagel may still be able to pull something out of his hat. I don't see it though if he doesn't expand or doesn't shift his RPs over, and he does have. Three of his RPs going into the south expansion, but he really should be going to the back door or to the, or to the northeast, somewhere safe, somewhere where he can get his RPs there, harvesting for a long period of time without the risk of what's-his-face coming in and defeating them, completely destroying them and stopping anything from happening. I mean, defeating Nagel by destroying his RPs. What's-his-face getting in more Tornads, getting in continually to get more mechs, and he is, let's say he's moving into attack a bit better. Like I said, the mechs need to build Chrono Borders, should build Macrofabs, and it's going to be a... Well, a pretty quick game if what's his face goes in to finish this off. He does have a great position right now. He just needs to send in all of his units, and from there he will be able to win this one. But it looks like he's not going directly for Nagel's base. He's in fact going to the northeast, at, or was going towards the northeast, but it's stopping near the base, holding up to reinforce, and Nagel on the other hand is once again not building much of anything. He is 
trying to get a Shin Haokin in there and... Strange enough trying to teleport it in. Anyhow, yeah, he keeps trying to teleport in the Shin Haokin and doesn't have a teleporter with which to do so. I suspect that something may have gone wrong in the replay once again. But he is still attacking the Shin Haokin. And once his face is... He is trying to build a Chrono Porter, but he isn't able to do so. He keeps getting units in the way as he moves in and almost almost got it. No, that Marine's in the way once again. So he keeps trying to build gates and units keep walking in the way, unfortunately for him. So he should really build a gate in a much more secure location and... No, I don't know when he's going to actually be building this gate. He keeps jumping backwards and backwards. Looks like he's trying to build the gate further and further in the past to take more advantage of it, but... Really, not much is working in his favor, and Nagel doesn't even have gate tech, to be honest. I don't know why he keeps trying to teleport the Shin Turcher, or Shin Haokian, sorry. And another Bastion coming in. Like I said, no gate tech. I'm a little bit surprised, but then again, he doesn't have the RPs to get gate tech in the first place, though that may have been an error. Regardless, he does have a Shin Haokian coming in to attack, and it will be dealing a little bit of damage to the RPs, but what's his face? Does have a large enough army to actually deal with this, and will be able to deal with this in no time, really. Once again, we have the RPs coming in, so more RPs coming up to move out, get better expansion position. And Shin Haokin is getting attacked by the tank. The tank will be going down fairly quickly. Shin Haokin will take quite a bit of damage in the meantime, but won't be able to... You know, actually, no, the tank and Shin Haokin are trading pretty evenly. The tank will die first, but the Shin Haokin will be able to do not much after that. The tank will die, and the mech will be able to finish it off. So, what's his face? He's in a great spot right now. I'm, like I said, surprised he's not attacking, and I think he's. I think he probably actually did attack, but we don't see it. Because it got messed up in the replay. Regardless, Nagel is basically screwed. He has nothing to build, nothing to. No resources left. He has his foundation, but nothing else to work with that. And this is going to be fairly unfortunate. I think, like I said, I think there's going to be. I think this is screwed up, I'm afraid. Yeah, just looking at it, there's stuff being built. I think probably what happened is that Nagel actually managed to build RPs elsewhere on the map, and then got gate tech, and then probably built a slip gate right here, and maybe built a slip gate down here, and was able to build that base up a bit more effectively, but didn't. Well, at the same time, what's the space is going on? Because the replay description said there was a lot of chrono porting, and a lot of paradoxes, and a lot of other things going on. But I don't see any of that, and so I suspect that a lot of it's happening because units are getting slightly messed up or little things are happening to knock them out of their expected positions and butterflying away what actually happened in the game. And from looks for there probably would have been an expansion in the center for Nagel, so I don't know what to do with this. Thankfully, not a tournament game, because this is pretty much indeterminate. And I don't know what I could do with it if it was a tournament game. So, this is going to be, I think, where I abandon this game, because I don't see it actually going anywhere. I think Nagel's attack... Whatever Nagel did, and looks like what's his face probably chrono back units to deal with it. Nothing actually is really happening, and Nagel probably also chrono back units to deal with this. So yeah, I'm going to abandon this. I apologize. And that's going to be, well, the first game for tonight, or my attempt at the first game for tonight. So, I apologize about that, and... That is kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna have to... Well, anyway, we have another game that I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna close down the channel for a sec and then come back to the second game, and hopefully that'll work a lot better. So, stay tuned, and we'll be back in a few